this is a no. This looks like dookie green. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. I'm bringing you guys along with me for the next couple of days. My office has been so uninspiring lately and because I spend so much time in there, I just really need it to be nice and somewhere that I want to be in the house. So we're painting one of the walls. We're doing a little accent wall, which I cannot wait. I think I'm gonna go with the lighter mauve color because I think it's gonna make the room look really pretty and girly and dainty and that's what I'm kind of going for. I want it to be like really girly in there. And I ordered two bookshelves that should be delivered today. So we might put that together either today or tomorrow, we'll see. But we're about to go back to Home Depot right now to go and pick up the paint because we just took home some samples. That's what we're doing. So let's go. We're gonna go pick up the paint and come back and get to painting. Michael put down all of this butcher paper so we don't make a big mess. And then this is the wall that we're doing. It's pretty high. So we're gonna try to be very careful because we didn't tape up the top part of the wall. Here is the paint we got. Okay, this is the type of paint we got. It's a matte finish. It's so pretty guys, it is gorgeous. I hope the wall comes out cute though. Um, I did a matte finish because I, I'm gonna be filming in here and I think a matte finish is gonna look the best on camera, I hope, fingers crossed. <laughs> and yeah, I changed into some painting clothes because I don't wanna get my real clothes dirty and I've painted it in this before. There's like white speckles on this shirt from the last time we painted, so yeah. We're ready, okay? We've already done a lot, it's three o'clock, okay? Um, so we should finish this in like two hours. some artwork over it my plant to the side I think it's gonna look really good once like the whole room is decorated so I'm trusting the process okay trusting the process but I came down here to start on dinner because I am making beef short ribs tonight which is one of my favorite things to eat we make this probably like once every two weeks it's so good and I have all the ingredients here all you need is beef short ribs I got these from HEB I only got four because this is more than enough for us um, an onion, celery, carrots. Got the carrots pre-cut. I don't like carrots, which is why I got these pre-cut. But then I was like, oh my gosh, I could have juiced them, but it's fine, it's fine. Um, I also got thyme and bay leaves, and you also need beef broth and some red wine. And I always get the box red wine when I'm cooking with red wine, if that makes sense. Speaking of wine, I think I'm gonna pour myself a drink. I'm gonna pour myself some wine while we cook together. This is the brand Butter, and it's smooth like butter, guys. I got this from Target, I wanna say. I'm gonna strip that. We'll pour together. Mm. Very good, very good, very good. That is a cab, it's a Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> get in the zone this takes a while to make by the way it takes two and a half hours to bake in the oven okay so that reminds me i need to preheat the oven there's nothing in here yeah 360 for two and a half hours so we gotta get started now because it's four so we can be eating by around like six 
because we're making less than this girl does in her recipe, I only let it cook for two hours. So I need to get started now. So let's get started. I'm gonna leave the recipe down below. If you try it, let me know how you like it. this winter and it feels really good 
Um, doesn't mean I'm not ready for the summer. I still am ready for summer, but I feel good. I feel good right now, and I'm putting in the effort to feel good. And that's all that matters. <laughs> I had too much wine, guys. I'm like falling over. last night we went to sleep at 8 p.m. so I got a total of nine hours of sleep which is amazing like I feel good I feel well rested so I'm back on my 5 a.m. grinds because I'm trying to get back into a study flow for my CPT exam I literally was supposed to take this exam last month but I ended up extending it for a whopping almost $200 because of the holidays my sister came in town she stayed with us for around like three weeks and I honestly just wanted to spend time with her so I do think that I overextended myself by trying to take it during the holidays like that wasn't smart at all because I was in Dallas for a couple of days and then we got back here and my sister was here for three weeks so it was like a lot going on and there was just like no way for me to study it <laughs> me luck. I'm around like six, I know, baby. I'm around 60% done studying. I've studied quite a bit already, so I don't really need much more time, and I think I'm just gonna knock it out. They gave me six months, but we don't need to take the six months. <laughs> we need to get this done now, because I'm tired of it, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired of it, and I just wanna get done with it, so I can do whatever I wanna do with my um, certification, so. Thank you. 
right there, which we have some white paint. All we have to do is touch that up. But guys, we didn't get anything on the baseboards, nothing on the baseboards, and nothing on the floor, which is amazing, honestly. I was so nervous that we're gonna get paint on these floors, and like, thank God there is no paint on the floors. So yeah, I wanna show you guys the bookshelves. However, it's backlit, so uh, this is the bookshelf. <laughs> there goes my vision board. Um, and then that's my desk, it's a standing desk. And we need to go get some things for this bookshelf. I love the bookshelves, I really like them a lot. I think they came out really cute. The office already looks so much better than before and I just cannot wait for this to be completely done because it's just gonna be so nice to come in here. I need a good space for me to just create content that's not our bedroom and downstairs and the kitchen and stuff, so. I am putting in a lot of effort to get this place done as quick as possible. I didn't even realize that I didn't have my wallet that whole time. 
I was at Target, so thank God for that. And I always take my headphones to the gym. I get so many questions on these. These are the AirPod Pro Maxes. These are from Apple. Some people ask me, like, what headphones are these? These are the Pro Maxes. They are pretty penny. I got them this past year, but this is probably the best purchase of 2023 okay this was the best purchase of 2023 i literally use these literally every single day i use these while cleaning they make cleaning so much more fun because they're noise canceling and i can vacuum and listen to a podcast or vacuum while watching a youtube video or whatever so yeah i literally do not go a day without using them and they've paid for themselves at this point Honestly, guys, the next best purchase, these, these large nipple pads, or what are they called? I forget what they're called, but they go right here. I will leave them down below. I think it's from a brand called Cake Spotty. Found them on TikTok one night while scrolling really late, and I was like instantly sold when I saw the TikTok and I purchased them. But honestly, guys, I wear these almost every day because I nip so bad. I'm the worst sniffer, so yeah, these are amazing. My Stanley, okay, she's the third best purchase. Although I'm in the market for a new water bottle, I get one every season, so this has been great. But I think it's time to try a different company. I think I'm gonna get a Simply Modern one next. All of this water, when it spills, it is embarrassing. Like, I've spilled this in workout classes, at the gym. It is so embarrassing when you tip over your Stanley in the middle of a class or at the gym. It's so embarrassing because it spills everywhere. So I'm in the market for a new water bottle. Let me know your favorites down below. gym and then I end up going it's just always good for me you know it's like the best thing I could do for myself even when I don't want to go it's just like the best thing you can do for yourself so it's been a great day thank you guys for joining me today I think this is going to be the end of this vlog let me know how you guys like this vlog down below I really like bringing you guys along my days but honestly guys I'm just like a suburban girl like I don't do anything super exciting and I feel like my life is pretty mundane. Pretty, I don't know, it's just not as exciting. But like, I love this little life. I think I like this little life. <laughs> I do, I like, I really do love my little life, I do. Um, but I don't know if it's exciting on YouTube. So I don't know, let me know how you guys like the vlog. And yeah, we just hit 98K this morning and I was so excited when I saw that. So thank you guys for subscribing. We're so close to 100K. I just cannot wait and I'm super excited. I just wanna say thank you guys for always rocking with your girl. And we're gonna hit 100K this year and I just can't believe it. I'm just so excited. I, like it was my goal to hit it last year and you know, I was sad when I didn't hit it last year, but also, I grinded so hard at the beginning of last year. Like I was posting two videos a week for like six to, well, actually it was like seven months straight. This last half of the year from like August until December, I wasn't posting as consistently. And I know that's the main reason why I didn't hit 100K. But you know, I chose my mental health over trying to post like crazy just to hit that number. However, this past month, in January, I'm already at like seven videos once this video goes live. I think it's gonna be my seventh video. And I haven't been able to do that in a long time. So I'm so proud of myself. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for being so patient with me. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. I'm such a crybaby. <laughs> I guess I'm crying because... <laughs> Sorry. The fact that I wasn't able to be more consistent the last half of the year was kind of a disappointment to me because I pride myself in like really taking whatever I do very seriously. I think I'm going into, well I've already come, I've already come into this new year as a different person with a different mindset. 
I'm valuing quality over quantity in so many different areas of my life, not just here. But it's hard having a job like this where the more you post, like you'll see the better outcome. And but I just want you guys to know overall, I'm so appreciative of the support and I am planning to be more consistent this year, way more than the last couple of months. I'm very disappointed in myself for only posting three times last month and I'm trying to make up for that and I'm trying to move forward with a lot more balance. Like I said, that's one of my words for this year. I love you guys so much. I hope you are having an amazing weekend. I think it's gonna be posted on a weekend. I hope it is, but yeah. Oh yeah, and also there is no more posting schedule. Okay, I'm moving away from the posting schedule. I am just posting content when it feels great and when I'm done editing it and I'm not like rushing to finish things, but I'm also being intentional about like filming and getting things ready to go because I will not be posting just three videos a month. I'm gonna aim for at least five or six videos a month and no posting schedule. Whenever I get them done, they'll be up. So I love you guys so much with all my heart. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye. <laughs>